Today, um, I think I want to ensure that we get the key points uh, from this conversation. Um, and one is that despite the, what I call the difficult macroeconomic situation we find ourselves in, um, NCBA continues to perform, delivering 20% growth on our profit after tax year over year. More importantly, um, we continue to be true to our strategy, so we're still executing on our strategy. And as part of strategy, which we shall walk through again, just for a reminder, we continue to invest in branches. This year alone, uh, we have about eight branches already operating. Uh, we've launched five of those, and three are to be launched by, well, within the next one month. But the doors are open to those branches. So eight branches already built with a target between 10 and 15 branches to be done uh, this year. So we continue to invest. Um, at the point of the merger, we were in 15 counties. Now we're in 24 counties. And this is something that we've consistently said. That I think the other point from a financial perspective, the question that you all raised, a lot of you raised last time, was about the subsidiaries contribution. Um, I remember we talked about the fact that Tanzania was heavy loss making and as a cohort, what we call the subsidiaries were actually loss making at about 178 million of losses last year. I think what you see, and we did say we were investing a lot into the business models, operating models, into cost, and many other things, and even the type of customers we're targeting in these markets for turnaround plan, I think we'll demonstrate that that turnaround plan has actually worked and made significant uh, contribution to the bottom line, going from a 1% contribution a year ago to 14% contribution uh, this, this year. And lastly, I think the other conversation I have seen a lot is about dividends. Uh, again, key message here is we continue to be truthful to our promise that unless we can find a compelling investment option, we will try as much as possible to give cash back to a shareholder. So announcing an interim dividend of shillings 175 per share. So a significant dividend to a shareholder. So those are the key messages that we'll be um, you, you know, double tapping on and talking through during this time.